It's just complete and utter nonsense. Complete and utter nonsense. The 60 Republicans in the Texas House of Representatives and two Republicans in this body saw the truth, just like we all have seen the truth at home. Listen, they all have their reasons. Um, I'm pretty sure that what we saw over the last day or so in this so-called deliberation has just been about politics rather than seeking justice. It's pretty clear. We all felt this going into this thing, that this was going to be a quote-unquote political trial with a capital P, and that's indeed what's happened here. Republicans sought to save their ass rather than do the right thing here. And the right thing is to convict a man that if stolen public money that has used money to, from a developer to go out and pay for the renovations to his house, and only until the day he got caught he decided to pay for those renovations. He stole public money by asking people to go out and do, uh, have us and this body go out and pay for the sham that he created when seven highly conservative Republican whistleblowers started to call him out. He has stolen our resources. He has abrogated his responsibility to taxpayers. I mean, you name it, you all saw it for the last seven days. It's right here. It's all in black and white. Listen, the federal government's got boxes of files here. I'm sure they've done their own, own investigation. I'm sure Nate Paul's singing like a bird. I'm sure Laura Olson, the reason she wasn't here is because she was going to plead the Fifth Amendment. We all know the truth. And for anybody that backs Ken Paxton, just open your eyes and open your ears to the facts that you heard all for the last two weeks. It's blatantly obvious. Wait a minute. Let's see. Any other questions in English? Listen, I can't speak to that. I mean, if this guy decides to go to Maine or get a massage or do whatever he wants, the fact is we busted our ass in here looking and deliberating yesterday for over 10 hours to look to see if this was indeed hogwash as his, uh, as his uh, attorney suggested. And the only hogwash that we have here is the fact that Ken Paxton has had a political outcome and not a judicial outcome by Republicans that would rather stay in office and care more about the next election than to do the right thing. Because the facts were proven black and white. We all saw it. We all absolutely saw it. Listen, you know, I'll only tell you is that half those Republicans that voted today thought long and hard and ultimately in the end they got pressure from outside influences. And whether that pressure came in through phone calls or just the harsh reality that if they voted to convict Ken Paxton, they would lose their race. That is the absolute truth. That is the sad and absolute truth. Because Ken Paxton is a crook. He stole from the taxpayers of Texas. He continues to do so now. And what has happened here is an absolute abrogation of our responsibility. The message to Texans and to every kid in Texas is run for office, run for the Attorney General, and you can cheat, lie, and steal just like Ken Paxton. That's a sad message for all Texans here today and for people across this country. If you go ahead, go ahead. What's that? Listen, we are all thoughtful and we all deliberate, and I understand there are people that made political decisions. Let's be real clear. I wasn't going to convince anybody about what was right here to do. There was a lot of good Republicans that really spent some time on it. In the end, they, had to make, they made their own political decisions. And they can speak for themselves. They can walk outside that room and speak for themselves. But under no circumstances am I going to sit there in a room while this lieutenant governor sits there and, 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 and holds in contempt 
a legislative body across the hall that did their absolute duty and over 60 Republicans sought to impeach this man. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to be part of that farce. What do you think the fate is of the 60 Republicans across the hall? Listen, they've got to go deal with their, their own voters. I would only tell their constituents to read the paper, to watch TV, look at the facts. Open your eyes and open your ears because you've been scammed, lied to, and bamboozled by Ken Paxton. Absolutely. Absolutely. The facts are the facts. Hoy vimos lo que hemos visto por dos semanas. Un charlatán que ha robado este público, el público de Texas, que ha robado nuestros recursos de un estado y ha llegado a una conclusión política y no a una, justicia, una, no a una conclusión de justicia. Lo que ha sucedido hoy en este, en este edificio es ridículo, porque todos hemos visto la evidencia, y la evidencia es muy clara. Ken Paxton robó de los recursos de este país, de este estado, tuvo um, relaciones fuera de su matrimonio que resultaron en... ¿Cómo um, bribery, Sergio? En extorsión, en, extorsión, en extorsión y llegaron a, a puntos donde desafortunadamente hubo conclusiones de esta persona que llegó a, a sacar nuestros recursos públicos. O we'll work on that individually. El mensaje es que puedes robar y puedes uh, estafar a gente en este estado públicos y no hay ninguna justicia. Ahí ya se acabó hoy. Vamos a seguir ahí. Hay que votar. Hay que sacar a esta gente fuera de la, of, de la oficina. Anybody else? Anybody else? I'm sure there'll be some other folks wanting to talk to you. Well, I expected this foregone conclusion to happen, sadly. Anything else? What do you think it means for the Republican Party? They obviously have their own problems. But the fact is, Republicans of conscience need to have a real deliberation with themselves and understand what's truly happening within their, within their own party. Because what happened to, here today was an absolute, supposed to have access to on the day you get caught. For 75 days, this man didn't pay his invoice because there was no invoice. It wasn't until he got caught, the information and the evidence was right there, right in front of us for all to see. Thank you all. Well, forget the securities case. Let's see what happens with the FBI over the next few weeks. We all know that Nate Paul's been arrested. And so let's see. I, I imagine he's singing like a jaybird. And we'll see more from Mr. Paxton here in the next few weeks. Thank you all.